What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from WalkerEntrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's a beautiful day here in Brookville, Maryland. I'm excited to talk with you guys. I haven't talked to you guys in, in a while. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like it, but with the posting of the videos, I've been very consistent. However, I haven't been very consistent with shooting the videos. It's been a lot going on, did some traveling, found out some information that is truly gonna be exercising in my life. I wanna share that information with you. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, thanks so much for checking us out. If this is on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, make sure you're subscribing and following our pages. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit. I've been shooting these little videos, day-to-day uh, -day journals, if you will, about things that I've been doing to put my brand out there, share my message with the world, helping you guys learn from the lessons that I've learned to help shorten your time uh, in reaching the success that you are looking to acquire as well. As I mentioned in the opener, I've been doing a lot of traveling, wife and I. We went up to Michigan to see our, her grandmother. I call her our grandmother because she is definitely family to me. She's a wonderful lady, 94 years old, strong, lives by herself, has a beautiful house, reads every single day. She loves reading. I mean, she her favorite author is De David Balducci. Balducci, I'm not 100% sure how to say it, however, I've always been fascinated, fascinated with her approach to reading, how often she read, the size of books she reads. You know, a lot of us, you know, the old world, War and Peace, that old book, the really thick, you know, she just breezes through it. A lot of us get intimidated by that. It was really great to just see her and catch up with her. She'll be turning 95 uh, here in October, excuse me, October. And, and that's really exciting. Can't wait to go up there and spend uh, her birthday, celebrate her 95 years here on Earth. But one of the things that I really got out of that trip is a few things. One, of course, is that, again, the fascination for reading and things like that. Actually, I'll talk on that in just one moment. But really, what I, I really liked about the time, I said, like I said before, I've been shooting videos and the conversation I wanna share with you guys today her and I had a while there, and I wanted to share it with her there, kind of get that perspective, you know, from another person, having you guys hear it for yourself from her. But then I thought about something Jim Rohn said. Jim Rohn often uh, says, you know, when you're at work, think about work, and when you're at, at the beach or at relax, be at the beach and relax. So let me just share with you what I mean by that. Oftentimes, I, I find myself working hard on the brand, working hard on the blog and the business, and I'm saying to myself, you know, I wanna do this so I can spend more time with family. I wanna do this so I can go spend time with grandma or go on these trips, etc." But what you, the average day person usually thinks that says that, and then they're here at work and then they're thinking about being at the beach. Uh, and then when they get to the beach, they're thinking about all the work that they need to do back at the office. So at no point in time are they really enjoying and really committed to the things that they're doing. So this week when we went out there to see grandma, I often played that same scenario in my head. You know, this is a very important time to be here with grandma. And I don't want to be thinking about work, thinking about producing videos and you know a lot of challenges have make sure that they're right make sure to edit all of this other little small things that go on with creating these videos for you guys i didn't want to have to deal with that i wanted to just truly focus on spending this quality time with family and so that's what i did so here i am back here uh back home from the vacation if you will sharing this conversation with you so that's one of the things that I learned in this trip. The second thing I learned in this trip was something that really stood out to me. I mentioned before, her grandma loves reading and she gets tons of junk mail. I'm pretty sure a lot of our, our grandparents do. You know, they don't check email or text, they check the mail and people know that. And they're always 
soliciting and sending her information. Well, she reads this information, and one of the programs that's currently been uh, mailing her is from the Alzheimer's Foundation. Now, Grandma's quick. She's 94 years old. She just she can barely, she can't fully hear you, but everything else is there. All she has everything going for it. It's fantastic. I love her. And and we were having a conversation, and she kept saying, you know. A lot of people think knowledge is a way to prevent from Alzheimer's. And it's funny how she says it, you know, she says, a lot of people think knowledge is the cure for Alzheimer's, but it's not. So I go, huh, okay, you know, what does that mean? You know, I'm constantly seeking more knowledge. I think knowledge is the foundation for success in life. You know, the more knowledge you have, the more things you can try, the more things you can try, the more things you can be successful at, you know, with your actions doing. So knowledge is extremely important to me. So when I hear her say that, and I know she's quick, 94 years old, definitely somewhere you, someone you would strive to be as far as being mentally and health-wise at that age. So I'm like, all right, grandma, if knowledge isn't the secret, what is the secret? What is the secret to this long, healthy life that you're living, you know? And, you know, when someone gives you advice, you don't know, automatically just go and say, start saying, oh, what about this? What about this? So she had said it like two times. And I said, you know, I really love knowledge. So I have to ask. I need the knowledge. Why does she think that? And she shared it with me. And I said, that's fair. Knowledge may not be the necessary solution because it's in many of ways that you can attain knowledge. However, I asked her, I said, do you believe reading could be the secret to Alzheimer's prevention. Now, for forever, Grandma has been reading books. She said that you know, as a little kid, she would, she would be, she would always be reading books. And when she would raise her children in the kitchen, she would have one book in a hand, cooking in the other hand. And I asked her, I said, yes, you know, I read, I listen to a lot of audiobooks. I'm constantly taking in knowledge, and then I shared that with her. And I said, I wonder, you know, since you say knowledge is the answer, is it reading? And she said, you know, I don't know, could be, could it be reading? Because reading actually exercises a different part of your mind because you're actually visual, because you're looking at it, you're reading it, so you're computing, you know, and oftentimes uh, a good book can, can trigger off your imagination, another uh, way that your brain can be exercised. And, and we talked about some of these ways in which we learn uh, when we did the the video on how to remember how to remember anyone's name, so you guys can kind of draw that correlation if you've seen some of those videos to this as well. So I'm no doctor, so I can't say for sure whether or not reading can be a prevention for Alzheimer's. However, from a 94 year old healthy relative of mine, they seem to give that as a strong impression. So uh, I know I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks. I love just taking in that knowledge as fast as possible so I can use it and implement it as fast as possible. I know that moving forward though, I'm gonna make reading more of a priority in my life. Actually picking up a book and taking the time to trigger those different parts of my exercise, excuse me, take time to exercise those different parts of my brain so that I can may remain on it quick, uh, out here doing the best that I can for as long as I can. As long as I'm blessed to be on this earth, I wanna make sure that I'm able to communicate to those that I come in contact with. So I don't know if knowledge is the cure for Alzheimer's. Grandma says it's not. I don't know if, if reading is the cure for Alzheimer's, but I have a good example that I can follow and give that a test. So if you guys, again, I'm no doctor. I'm not trying to step on anyone's toes. I'm not trying to cause drama. Uh, however, I'm just trying to give you guys some perspective, some things that I'm gonna be trying moving forward. So I'm gonna start trying to read a little bit more. Taking as much knowledge as possible, reading a little bit more. I'm gonna leave it there. I look forward to talking with you guys again real soon. I'm gonna try to keep with these videos. I really like uh, shooting them. If you like viewing them, please go ahead and click the like button below. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell button. 
We love to remain in contact with you. We'll talk again real soon. So until then, take care and be blessed. Peace.